Hi everybody and welcome to today's webinar, Connecting Mobius to Your Learning and Management System. Uh, my name is Johnny, I'm a Product Manager here at Digital Ed and uh, what we want to do today is just talk about um, learning management systems and how Mobius integrates with them to make your life easier. Um, most schools will have some type of existing software at your campus, uh, whether it's a learning management system, a course management system, a VLE, or some even homemade solution, um, basically uh, Mobius should be able to integrate into your existing infrastructure and I want to showcase how that's possible with today's webinar. So uh, the first thing I talk about is how does it connect. Uh, there are two different ways that uh, Mobius can connect to your what I'll call learning management system but again it could be uh, another similar software you have in your school like a, a VLE or an SIS or something of that nature but how does it connect? Um, the first way it connects is with an LTI connection. Um, LTI stands for uh, Learning Tools Interoperability. It's governed by the IMS, an institution from North America. Um, it's a standard that a lot of um, software for education companies have adopted. Uh, and basically, if they adopt the standard, they can connect and talk with each other. And that is a standard that Digital Ed has chosen to adopt for the Mobius platform. As well, though, there's a second way you can connect Mobius to your existing infrastructure, and that's using the Web Services API. This is basically the API for Mobius. It allows you to integrate parts of Mobius into other softwares using our API. It's a definitely it's a definite more um, detailed way to integrate Mobius into your softwares. Uh, it does require knowledge and uh, of XML and how to how to integrate other third-party tools into your existing solution. So it doesn't follow a standard, it's just more so that we have developed the API. So there are hooks you can create um, from your existing software to Mobius itself. So going a little bit more detail about LTI or Learning Tools Interoperability, I talked about this before, but uh, we first developed this, uh, I believe it was 2014 now. Um, we had Digital Ed developed it. Uh, now available today to use. There's no premium cost to it. It's included with your solution. It basically allows a school or institution to integrate Mobius into any LMS that supports LTI. So Mobius in this case would be an LTI provider and an LMS is typically an LTI consumer as it, it consumes LTI provider technology. So uh, we support single sign-on, a delivery of grades and grade pushing with our LTI connector. Now, how does it exactly work? Well, the way it works is that uh, you simply create links to Mobius from your LMS. Now, each link that you create can point to a different part of the Mobius platform. For example, one link could point directly to a system homepage, whereas another link points to a class homepage, or directly to a gradebook of a class, or directly to an assignment. As well, it also provides for single sign-on. What that basically means is that when they click on this link from their LMS to go to Mobius, it logs them in automatically as information is passed from the LMS to Mobius. Um, what they don't have to do is sign in again to Mobius with a separate login and password. Uh, it just does a seamless integration where it logs them in automatically. Their role from their LMS is passed to Mobius, um, as well as their first name, their last name, their student ID, and so forth. And uh, it provides grade pushing back to your LMS. So as they complete assignments in Mobius, their result is pushed back to um, your LMS, the, the grade area of your LMS, if you would. And uh, this doesn't just work for students. It does as well work for instructors and proctors and teacher's assistants and admin level people. Um, they can have direct access, access to Mobius alongside the LTI connectors. So what I mean is um, people who have to do more course administration or content creation don't have to work through the LTI connector. They can go directly to Mobius and log in directly uh, as the old standalone model would be uh, if they just need to go to the root of the system and do some more admin level work. So I want to move into a demo now to show you exactly how it works inside of an LMS. Um, so I'm going to leave my PowerPoint here and I'm going to switch over to my LMS. So the LMS I will use for uh, today's 
demonstration is Canvas by Instructor. Um, they're uh, one of our many partners that we have with other LMS platforms. And I'm going to use their LMS to demonstrate how uh, you can link from an LMS such as Canvas to Mobius. So I'm going to log in with my email and password here. Now, I won't go into detail as to how Canvas works. Rather, I'll focus more on the actual um, integration. So uh, I first just want to show you a complete integration, how it looks, how it works, and then I'll show you how to set one up yourselves. So I'm going to go to my course for today's webinar. I have it right here at the bottom. And uh, you'll notice that in this case, I do have some links here in this module. If I go to the assignments, there's some links to a Mobius assignment. Uh, let me go to the modules area and show you what happens when I click on this link to go to a Mobius class homepage. So what happens is it within my iframe here in my LMS, it simply pushes me to my course in Mobius itself directly. You can see here on the right hand side, the top right, it logged me in automatically. I'm in the class homepage. I can browse it. I can go to different parts of the class homepage. It is Mobius embedded inside of my LMS, but I did not have to log in again to access it. Now, another part you can do is go directly to a system homepage. Like I mentioned before, you can see here, um, it, rather than going to a class homepage, it pushes me directly to the root system of the Mobius courseware platform. And uh, talk about assignments, how you link directly to an assignment or less in the Mobius. So I have a link already made here. If I click on it, in this case, I'm going to open it in a new window because Canvas gives that option. And then you can see here, I'm taking it right to Mobius. Here's the information on the assignment. I can start it when I'm comfortable. And then I'm presented with the first question I can go through. And like I mentioned before, um, there are situations where you might want to have a grade push back to the LMS environment. And to do that, you would simply create links directly to an assignment in Mobius. Uh, that way the grades get pushed back and mapped correctly to an item in the gradebook of your learning management system. But at a very high level, that's how um, a completed course would look if you linked it to uh, Mobius. Of course, in my LMS, I would have other parts that I would use within the LMS, like discussion groups, or maybe viewing the roster, or the syllabus. Every LMS is different, but in general, that's what happens when you integrate Mobius into your LMS using the LTI standard. Now, um, let me show you how to set up um, a connection to Mobius from your LMS. So uh, what I'm going to do in Canvas is go to the um, main homepage here. And I'm going to go to my admin setting page here. Click on settings. I'm going to go to my applications and create a new one. So of course, depending on your LMS, these steps will vary, but basically you have to set up what's called an external tool or an LTI link. They might say directly in the product or, you know, launch a third party application. Every LMS is different. Um, this is how Canvas does theirs. And what I'm going to do here now is type in the information. So I'll say, I'll do a manual entry. I'll give it a name. So I'll say sample LTI connection for Mobius. And then it requires the consumer key and the shared secret and the launch URL. So in Mobius, when you log in as an administrator, you can actually grab those things from our system admin panel on the top right by going to edit LTI shared secret. So here you can see we support LTI 2 and LTI 1, uh, depending on which elements you're using, some support one versus the other. You might be wondering well, what's the difference between LTI 1 and LTI 2 and even the new LTI advantage. Um, basically LTI 1 is the first iteration of LTI. Uh, to set up links using LTI 1, you have to grab a launch URL, a key, and a secret from the LTI provider to put into the LTI consumer. Um, LTI 2 is very similar except you don't need a key or secret. All you need is the launch URL and it does the uh, registration of the connection with Mobius automatically. Now a new standard that the IMS has released in the last few months is something called LTI Advantage. This basically takes into account some other key parts of LTI that should be included. Um, for example, deep linking and grade return. Um, Digital Ed does support deep linking today. Uh, we are still uh, working on the other two areas of LTI Advantage that we don't get support today, but we hopefully will in the future. Uh, deep linking will basically allow you to um, 
have a shell or a master course or parent course in your LMS and you can create links in this master course or course template or shell whatever you want to call it and when you clone that course in your LMS the the clones or the child's or the sorry the children or the sections the links from that you know template course in your LMS aren't broken they are retained because of the deep linking functionality so again while we support it the LTE consumer themselves also have to support us too so um, yeah that is what deep linking is and uh, in this case though I'll simply use LTI1 so I'll create a new pair you can see here the one in the middle is the blank one I will copy the key I'll move it to canvas here and put it under consumer key I'll then copy the secret put that as well in canvas I'll then type in the launch URL which I'll grab again from the Mobius window and put that right here and uh, for privacy in this case I'll put public you can also add custom fields if you want um, I'll leave it all as is click submit and now um, I now have my app set up and configured um, right here in the middle sample LTE connection for Mobius so that's how you set it up now some LMS's are different that you have to give permission for certain classes to have access to this external app or you have to define who can actually use it or maybe you have to set up some more custom parameters if you like um, every LMS is different but generally that's how you set it up you grab the secret the key and the launch URL from Mobius and put it into your LMS's you know external app tool external tool launch tool or LTI launch tool now once it's available then and set up I can then go to my course and begin injecting these links inside of my course that point directly to the Mobius platform. So I'll go to my webinar course, and let's say I now want to create a link to the gradebook of my class. I'm gonna put it, in this case, under modules. I'll create here a new link to my external tool. Um, I will select webinar one that I have set up previously and add that. So I've added my link. I'll edit this to, I'll call it, uh, the Mobius gradebook. I have the option in Canvas to choose whether to indent or to load a new tab. I'll leave the default as is. And notice that it now says Mobius gradebook, but this link doesn't know what to do until I, as a teacher, instructor, or administrator, click on it and configure the behavior of this link. So. When you click on it, the first thing you see, and now what you see here is, is Canvas with an iframe containing Mobius in the middle. You, you choose here what you want to do. Um, there are some custom parameters here you can use if you'd like. Uh, you don't need to, but you can use them. Um, again, this is what you would use for, for cloning the, the course in an LMS via deep linking. Uh, but below that, there are four options for what you want to link to. Link to class home, link to assignment, link to gradebook, or link to system home. Link to class homepage. Basically, you select the course here from your list of courses that you are teaching in Mobius and click link to class home. It'll link to the class homepage of the course that you select in this drop down list. You can also create a new class if you'd like and, and go through the whole process right here in your iframe. Below that is a list of all the available assignments or lessons in the course that you've selected. Uh, you can again link to one of them or create a new assignment or new lesson right here in your window. This will create a link to the gradebook of the course you select in this drop down menu. And this at the bottom will simply create a link to the class homepage. So, four things you can do with a link. Uh, very simple what they do. Um, either link to a class homepage, an assignment or lesson, a gradebook, or a system homepage. Now, of course, I mentioned I'm going to link to my gradebook. So, I can click on that right here in my um, any item here. You can see it takes me right to the gradebook. This means that it was a successful link. And now, if I go back to the modules area, whenever a user clicks on that link to the Mobius gradebook, they're taken directly to the gradebook of the class that you specified. In this case, it was called Webinar Course. You can see here in the Mobius navigation bar, we're in the gradebook of Webinar Course in Mobius. Now, if you do want to redo a link or unlink it from Mobius, uh, basically what you do is you simply remove that link from the platform or delete it from your LMS and then just reinsert a new one and start from scratch. Uh, that's the easiest thing to do to, to redo a link or to, to start from scratch on that notion.